Hello and welcome to my tutorial on using UI image views in your iOS projects uh, in Xcode 4. Um, I'm going to get started straight away. Um, we're going to go ahead and, oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. We're going to come into the view controller which is given to us by standard in a single view project and from there we're just going to go ahead and create a UI image view. Um, we're going to call that uh, my first image view and we're going to assign that a new UI image view in the standard way. Now when you create uh, an image view it requires uh, an image to start with so if we just come up here um, we don't have any images at the moment so we're going to have to get one from somewhere um, you may have them, you know, they could be anywhere. All you need to know is any kind of image, just drag and drop into your project where you want it to appear. Release it. The important thing to remember is if, if you always want a local copy of the image you're dragging into your project, and, and that means you want it to be copied to inside of your project, uh, then always have this ticked. If you don't do that, then uh, it, if it moves from its original location where you referenced it from, then your project will break or the image won't show up and it, it can be quite annoying troubleshooting those kinds of problems. Uh, it's best to just avoid them completely and always have this ticked unless you, you're referencing something that changes frequently elsewhere and you always want the latest version of that when you compile your code. Click finish. Um, now that we've got our image we're just gonna we're gonna initialize a new UI image not a UI image view, a UI image, and we do that with image named. Uh, image name just takes a string and it is literally the name of the image that you've imported into your project. You don't need to give any pathing information, it'll do all that for you. My one's called iPad icon. Notice I don't add the .png on the end because it's not required. Uh, we'll come down to the next one. Now that line there, we create a new UI image view, we give it a name, we then assign it into memory by allocating it and then we initialize it with an image and that image is given to us using the image named method on the UI image class. If we go ahead and say self.view.addSubView it could be self.addSubView if this particular class was a UI view class um, but obviously we're in a view controller here so it's going to be self.view and then you literally just pass my first image view as an argument and we'll click play. You see our images come up there and it is really as simple as that. I mean you can do things like move images around if we were to say maybe we weren't happy with the initial location of that we could say uh, something like my first image view dot frame equals cg rect make um, I won't go into too much detail about frames and stuff um, just because I, I would recommend that by the time you're learning about image views you'd already have a, at least a basic understanding of, of what a view was and a frame is a property of a view uh, which obviously UI image view inherits from that um, uh, just very very basically it's where it is and how big it is. Um, so we're going to say it's at 100 by 100. Uh, remember in iOS you go along the top and then down. So if I just put in 100, 100 that's going to take me here. 100 pixels that way and 100 pixels that way. And then it's going to draw my image on there. So we have that. And if we then make it, I think that, that picture is something about 80 80 pixels, something like that. Obviously you'll know your own images. Um, we'll just close that in then. If we run that now, you see the image has moved. Um, this could be used while animating it, all sorts of stuff really. Um, as far as they go though, that, that's really the basics. That's how you can add them in, position them, and you know, choose which, uh, which picture you want from your project. Um, I hope that's enough to get you started on UI imagery. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.